there are a few things that I will be doing differently with this book compared to my last two books. So if my last two books, I kind of see them as practice books. I didn't really know what I was doing. At least I didn't know what I know now. So here are some of the things that I will be doing differently with this book release than my last book releases. One is find a good editor. I did have editors for my last two books. I've actually had three editors for my last two books and my first two just were terrible. They didn't do the work when they promised they would. My type of books weren't what they would typically read. So all in all, they just weren't good editors. But my third editor actually re-edited my first book, making it a new release, which is this book right here, Two Minds, and now I love it. So I am actually getting her to edit this book, Unbreakable, that I'm putting out in May. Now, I have since learned that there are different types of book editors and they all do different things. You are also well off to get a few different editors, for example, a line editor, a developmental editor, amongst other different types of editors. A lot of authors will actually get about three different editing services to cover everything and just get their work triple checked. And as much as I would love to do that this time around, I just don't have the budget. I will be doing that for my next book, fingers crossed. So I am getting a good editor, however, and the next thing I'm getting that I didn't do with my last books is beta readers. To be fair, with my last book, I did try to find beta readers, but I only found one or two people and they were kind of flaky, so that didn't really work out for me. This time, I'm actually putting a section on my website, which will be up very soon, and that is where beta readers or ARC readers can actually apply to be on the list for my upcoming books to read and give feedback. So beta readers basically, or ARC readers, will give you feedback on your book, point out any plot holes or anything like that that doesn't make sense. So you can do your own edits before you pass your manuscript off to the editor. So that's an ARC reader. And then a beta reader is someone who will read your book early and do a book review in exchange. So I will get some of those for this book as well. The next thing I'm doing that I didn't do for my last book is to consistently write every day. So it might sound like a no brainer, but making time to write every day is actually quite hard. And I find that if I'm lucky and I'm not consistently trying to make an effort to write, I just don't, or I write once or twice a week and that's it. And it's probably 300 words. So since I've started putting an effort into writing. I've actually written 500 to 1000 words a day and I'm getting so much further with my book and I'm enjoying it more as well because I find that if you're just writing bits and pieces of your book here and there you can kind of stray from the story, forget what you've written so far or even become bored with your story but if you're constantly writing you constantly have fresh in your mind what is happening in your book and then you won't forget different parts of the story and there'll be less chance of plot holes. So I'm consistently writing and also to make my editing deadline, I actually need to write between 500 and 1000 words a day. That's depending on if I want a 50,000 word book or a 60,000 word book. And that is something else that I've found this time around. My editor was quite affordable last time. And since I'm going through the same one, I thought it would be about the same price but I didn't think that my last two books were novellas. So they were about 30,000 words each, whereas this is going to be between 50 and 60,000 words. So the price is a lot more, but she is still really affordable and she's really good and offers payment plans too, which is really good for the author, especially if you are on a budget. I forgot to mention as well, going over your draft several times. So with my first ever book release of Two Minds, that was the first book I'd ever written. I didn't know much about publishing at all. I basically wrote a first draft and then just gave that to my editor. I didn't look through it that much, like I did a rough read through, but there were a lot of things wrong with it. I basically didn't know that you should be doing like three or four drafts, going over it and going over it to make sure it's perfect and then send it to your betas. Or your ARC reviewers and have them look at it make changes again 
then send it to your editor. Make changes, then your editor will do a few rounds of edits and then you make changes till it's perfect and then you format it. So all of that as well, I did about two or three drafts with my last book and it was a lot better than the first release of Two Minds. But now that I've released Two Minds again and gone through and edited and done that and changed the story a little bit, it's now my best book so far. And I'm hoping that this book that I put out will be my best now. With each book that you write and put out there, you're going to get better at writing, at editing, at everything to do with self-publishing. So just keep going and you will get there. Now, the next thing I'm doing is actually working with a PR company specifically for book publishers and authors. So I'd never thought to do this before until I heard it on a Joanna Penn podcast. So if you don't listen to Joanna Penn, you need to listen to her. She is like the holy grail of self-publishing. She's been doing it for over 10 years. I think she said she published her first book in 2006. So that is a long time. And she just has so much knowledge about self-publishing and she interviews different authors both traditionally and self-published and they all have so much good information to share yeah i just highly suggest that you check her out i'll link her website down below but a pr company basically who specializes in authors will send your book out to different book influencers basically and get you interviews with radio stations tv interviews depending on what package you pick journalists and basically just get the word out about your book before you put it out so they want my book a month before i release it so that's how i get my deadline so I want to release my book in late May, so they need it by early May. My editor will be done by late April, so I'll have a little buffer time to make changes and then give it to them to send out to people before releasing. So that is another step that I'm doing this time around to hopefully push my book out there and generate more sales and more exposure of me and my books. So, so far I've got my editor, I've got my PR company and I'm doing more drafts of my book and getting beta readers. Now, something else that I'm doing differently this time is that I have actually hired a digital artist to make images of my characters. Some of the characters in my book that I think would be the coolest, not necessarily main characters, but there will be chapter headers in my book just to make it really pretty and formatting is so so important. Even though I formatted my last two books I didn't really grasp how in depth you can go with formatting and how much better it can make your books look. So this can determine the sizes of your books and print and ebook are going to be formatted different as well. So there's just so much that goes into formatting and Bethany Antizada if you don't watch her she's a booktuber as well and she just put out a series of videos on how to format your book. I'll link that down below as well and aside from the digital art for my book headers I'm actually using the digital art as well for merch for my book to bring in more income and build exposure and kind of as a marketing tool to get my books out there. I'm going through Teespring for that and that will all be on my website. I'm actually going to make a video as well probably my next video will be a website tour of my live website and then my next one after that fingers crossed will be my merch video so i'll actually have ordered all my merch and will try it on for you guys and show you exactly what it looks like and the quality so that you know that you're getting quality products and i am doing two merch drops i've actually mentioned this in another video my first merch drop it has t-shirts track pants, jumpers, um, stickers, mugs, like a bunch of different things, but they all have the book title across them and it's written in a really nice font and I just think it looks really cool. And then the second drop will be all the character all the character art on the same items. So I really hope that you guys enjoy all that. I'm so, so excited about it. And I will be wearing all my merch all the time just because I think it actually looks so cool. And I wanted to create merch that people could wear even if they didn't read my books. Like it's still cool items of clothing and cool mugs and accessories that people would want to use regardless of if they've read my book or not. 
So the next thing that I'm doing differently is I'm actually going to be doing a live stream on my book release day. So I still don't know the exact date that my book will be released. It is up for pre-order now, so I'll link that down below, but the actual release date is a bit tricky to know right now until the editor's kind of finished or nearly done so I can get a better idea. And I will also need to get some of my books printed in advance for people who want hard copy books. For people that want print books, because Ingram Spark is renowned for printing your covers wonky, so I'll need to do some testing around that as well. So that will also cut into the time. But I will keep you guys updated on that. And yeah, basically, I'm just going to be doing a live stream on the book release day, and then we might play some games and I might sign some books on that day and just do some fun things like that. I'm really looking forward to that. So overall, with all of these things, my goal is to bring out more exposure of my book before it comes out. Whereas with my last two, I feel like I didn't really try that hard to market my books or put that much effort into getting the word out before they came out. I kind of just put them out on the day, put up a Facebook post to family and friends and that was it. So I'm really hoping to be in line with my goals for this year in making some more money with my books and getting on the track of this being my full-time job. So this is just one of those things and I've been working so, so hard making sure all of this is <laughs> going to go to plan and I feel like I've started to kind of work myself into the ground a bit because I'm writing on a daily basis <laughs> And as well as that, I'm trying to keep on top of my Instagram, TikTok. These are all marketing strategies, by the way. Um, I've been doing the Brittany Wang author website bootcamp course and building my website this whole time for probably the last month. Now that I'm nearly finished with my website, I've also been designing my merch and working with the designer. I've been planning out and booking when an editor needs different slots for editing and the payments for all of that in the marketing company. I've been on phone calls with different companies trying to find people to market my book and like a good fit PR company basically. There's not a lot out there that specialize in books and publishing that want to do what you need them to do. So basically lots of marketing companies or PR companies know a bit about books but not enough for me to want to invest money in them as much money as they're wanting whereas traditional book pr companies really know what they're doing and they know who to send your books to they have these great contacts and the great thing about the place i'm going through is they actually cc you in on all of the emails that they send out so you actually will have all these contacts for the future as well for my future books i will know who to email to send out art copies to beta reader copies and for interviews and things like that which is really cool and i will put the name of the pr company and their website down below too if anyone is interested but they seem really good they have good reviews and i've noticed a lot of authors do follow them as well on instagram which gives me a good feeling because one thing that, that stuck out to me when i was looking for a pr company and i don't know if anyone else thinks this way but like if you're a marketing or PR company, you'd think that you would know how to market or expose your own business on social media because they do a lot of marketing around social media and pushing your brand and your Instagram. Yet a lot of them have basically no following on Instagram or Facebook. And I think like if you're so good at marketing, why isn't your own platform marketed in a way that you have followers. That was the place I'm going with. They're called Publishing Push. They actually have a large Instagram following and have really good reviews from other authors and I just have a really good feeling about them. I have been investing in 
a lot of courses this year so far and PR and marketing and editors to make my books the best that they can be to give you guys the most that I can and I'm so 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 excited for the future and I'm excited about my website I have so many great features on there that I'm just so excited about that will benefit writers and readers can't wait for you guys to see it so I will be doing a video like I said probably my next video will be my website launch which will show you guys all these cool features and my merch will be on there too for you to see but all in all that is what I'm doing differently with my books this time around and I hope to do for my future book so I hope some of you found this helpful. I just think it's really great to pass on knowledge that you have that others may not have because I know a lot of people in this industry for some reason don't like to talk about money and they don't like to talk about what got them ahead and they want to be the only ones at the top but there's room for everyone and it's really good to share your knowledge if you have gained knowledge on this journey that can help other people. I just think it's a nice thing to do. I love sharing knowledge that I've gained along the way. I am really looking forward to my next few videos. So I will see you guys in my next one.